Okay, and we're back. <clears throat> Let's just... There we go. Okay, everything's looking good. Welcome. Uh, I hope you had a great day so far. If not, um, it's probably gonna get better or not. You will see me suffer probably a little bit longer. But I'm thinking today will be the last episode of Outlast because we've made quite a lot of progress yesterday. And today we will try and calm down Billy. Because he's obviously losing his mind about Dr. Vernicus uh, being his father. Even though it's not his real father, but he thinks it's he's his father. And today we're gonna end that, apparently. I don't know if uh, I or Miles has the power to do that. But anyways, let's just uh, put the mic up here so you can hear me. <laughs> and nope. Swearing already, and we haven't even started yet. Okay, there we go. Let's turn on. Is it working? Uh oh. Yeah, I think it's working. Okay. I was a little bit worried there for a moment. Okay, let's switch over here. Is it working? Yes, it is. Oh, it looks good. It looks great. Let's continue, continue the struggle. Again, you know the rules. If anything's too loud, anything's too silent, just let me know. And yeah, I'd love to see you in the chat. So this is the weird engine the scientists used to create the Wall Rider. My camera's still broken, by the way. If you've not watched the last episode, you might not know that I actually failed to keep my camera intact which is why I'm now regularly scared by the twitches it does and that door should not be open <gasps> oh no is this gonna be good? I don't think so let's see yeah the wall rider project we already know all of this so our objective right now is to find Billy and then probably kill him if I remember correctly because Dr. Vernica really wants to end his life. He's been... Uh, pers People said in the documents that he was... He died in 20... No, 2009. That's when he died. But at this point he should have been dead for four years. Which is not the case. He's struggling away on life support and he really wants to end it. But Billy won't let him. So that's gonna be our task to end that but I'm not sure whether we will be able to do that because Billy is very powerful and I'm just an investigative reporter with a camera turn off the valve for life support fluid reservoir okay now this mountain is very big and it's very icy and I don't like it let's see what do we have here Okay. Yes, documents. We can do some reading. Morphogenic engine chamber precautions. Okay. Work of psychiatric systems. To avoid patient injury, the morphogenic engine life pod requires a daily inspection of all vital systems. Vital system 1. The enriched oxygenated... <laughs> What are those words? From the life support flu fluid reservoir, which is the one we gotta turn off, must be continuality flushed and replaced through the course of the patient's treatment. Note that OP also supplies anesthetics. Any interruption in supply will cause efficient pain to the patient to potentially disrupt the experiment. We better clean those. Vital system number two is electric supply is supplemented and ensured by the sublab generator. Proper fueling and maintenance of the sublab genera generator should be confirmed hourly. So well, that's very important too. Vital system 3. In case of catastrophic loss of vital system 1 and 2, the life pod failsafe will engage, maintaining localized minimum life support functions until technicians can arrive. 
Disabling failsafe will result in immediate patient termination. Why don't we just turn on the off the last one then? That would be way uh way quicker. Isn't activated and can't be turned what? The failsafe system isn't activated and can't be turned off. Yeah, why would it be activated? The other systems are also doing fine. Let's have a look around. This is one broken pod. Or does it just look broken? No, it looks like something went wrong in here. And is there actually still a human in there? Okay, something definitely went wrong with this one. Because I am pretty sure it's not supposed to be filled with all that blood. I mean, I would lose my mind too if I had to watch that all the d all day long. Um. Okay. You stay in there and we're gonna be friends, I promise. Another one that's broken. How did they get planning permission for this? Like, this is... This is very big. This must have been very expensive and stuff. Like, how do you have so much money? To spend on something like this. Oh god. He doesn't look very alive to me. What the hell? Okay. That looks very uncomfortable. You. Okay. Let's see, what have you written down? Billy Hope. From Billy's patient's patient reports, he ought to be 23 years old. He looks like at least 50 years of rough road, pain scratched deep into what I can see. Killing you would be an act of kindness. Oh yeah, I remember. He was the first file we actually read about. He doesn't look 23. I mean, look at him. What have they done to him? Oh, soul. Okay. Yeah, I really want to leave this place. This uh, this is not comfortable for me. Let's see. Sub lab generator. What are we supposed to turn off again? Life support fluid reservoir. Okay. <laughs> This, this way. Yes, it is. Billy's not gonna be fine with us doing this. Seems like somebody tried before and that didn't go too well. Okay. What the hell is all this? Okay, what did you write down? Let's see. Life support. This is Billy Hope's lungs, his liver, his life support. A machine the size of a football stadium to keep one lunatic alive. Fuck it all, break it all. He has to die. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say it's Billy's fault that he's the way he is. Because I am pretty sure someone really broke his psyche for him to end up in here. I think it wasn't wasn't the thing with Billy that his mom sold him for like a lot of money to Markov and then they uh, they ended up putting him in this thing because he was the only one who kind of worked for their purpose. So it's not Billy's fault he's in there, obviously. But I, I he's he's just trying to put protect the only thing that's kind of keeping him alive. I mean, what else would you expect from someone who's gone through all this? Okay, so I'm not a scientist. Where do I press buttons? From the personal records of Dr. Wernicke, Frankenstein, or the mother modern Prometheus, by Mary Shelley, published anonymously in 1880. Chapter 4, excerpt. Learn from me, not by my... Precepts, at least by my example, how dangerous 
is the acquirement of knowledge and how much happier that modest man that he who inspires to become greater than his nature allows. Okay, Dr. Wernicke, why did you just not buy the book? Why would you put excerpts of that all the way around to pe for people to pick up? Okay, where do I press buttons to ruin this? It's getting twitchy, I don't like it. Do not turn the valve. valve. Interruption in supply will cause sufficient pain to the patient and to potentially disrupt the experiment. Mm. I'm sorry, Billy. He's gonna be so angry. Okay, so now we're going to sub lab. Rather fast, film it. Because Billy is gonna be very angry, I can hear him screaming. Oh shit, there he comes, there he comes. I can feel him coming. Run, run, run! Okay, is he gone? Has he just given up like that? Hello, I'm just gonna close this door. I mean, you're basically flying around, so... I can hear him coming. He's gonna be very mad with me. What? Safety measurements? Yeah. Um, I think we're way past that. This is not safe at all. Oh no. Okay, keep on running, keep on running. We're doing good, we're doing good. We're just acting on behalf of Dr. Wernicke. Remember that. How high is this? Oh, he's still gonna throw me down here, isn't he? I'm gonna break my neck again. Why is it all dark? Oh, Christ. Oh, you better not fall. Thank you very much. I really wouldn't have appreciated you falling down here. Okay, just keep going, just keep going, remember. Go, 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 go! Okay. Decontamination. Okay. Oh god. Did she know? Oh no, now he's gonna be very angry. Oh! Okay. Hello, good evening. How you doing? I'm just I'm just killing some people, you know, ordinary stuff. <laughs> we just turned off uh, the electrical power and the life fluid thing. So Billy's gonna be very very angry with us. Whoa! Hi Billy! No don't smack me down. Oh Christ. Sorry, it didn't even smack you there. Come on, Miles, you can do it. Where's your camcorder? Run! You can do it! Okay. Keep on going, keep on going. I know it's very bad, but we can do it. I believe in you. Where's his life pot? Where's his pot? Where's his pot? Okay, it's up here. Um. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh no. Hi, Billy. You don't seem too, oh, too happy about this. I can totally understand. I'm very sorry. Yeah, I know the game's almost over. Oh, Billy. No, 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 no. Uh-oh. Have we become the wall rider? Oh, Billy doesn't look too good. Miles? Miles? Are you okay? 
I mean, you you look fine. Grab the camcorder. It's gonna be okay. Billy is not okay anymore. He is totally gone. He is very gone. I still feel sorry for Billy. Devophobe. Billy's dead. The wall rider, the swarm, whatever it is. Unmade with him. Where, whether I escape or die here, I am free. Oh, come on. We can't die. Like, we've put in so much. Look at us limping. Breaking it. Oh. Come on, Miles. You can do it. You've been through so much. I believe in you. We can get you an ambulance. Oh, he's not fine. I'm not sure if he's gonna make it. Come on, Miles. Uh oh. Come on, we can do it. We've been through so much up this up to this point. You deserve to be free. Can we actually see whether Dr. Vernick is still there? Oh. Come on, Miles. You're a very strong person. No, don't shoot me, please. Are you kidding me? Why would you do this? God damn it. You have become the host. Uh-oh. through that's it oh that wasn't a nice ending i didn't really like the ending he's been through so much and now he's dead it's very unsatisfying i don't like it well 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 what you gonna do about it hmm I think in the end he actually des he would have deserved to be free. It's not fair to him. It really isn't. Like he's been through so much. Yeah, it's like they put so much effort into everything, and now, oh, how do we end this very good game? I really enjoyed it, even though it sometimes didn't look like it. But I really did enjoy it, and. Now, how do we end this game? Uh, yeah, just just shoot the protagonist. That's uh, the way to go. That's a very shitty ending, I gotta say. I really don't enjoy that ending. It's very unsatisfying. I'm not happy with that. <laughs> and I actually thought we had a little bit more to do. Because now I've been live for like... 25 minutes and the game's over so uh what are we gonna do now <laughs> and we're, we're gonna watch the credits because i think you still even though the ending wasn't great you still gotta give uh, a shout out to all the people who worked on this game because i know that it's it takes a lot of time to build a game like this and it takes a lot of people and i think it's only fair if uh, we pay our respect to those people by watching the credits and then after watching the credits, we can see. Maybe we will just continue with Whistleblower, you know? Being all in the mood for the game, we might as well do that. But... Yeah. Have you actually played uh, the game? Like, by yourself and finished it? I don't remember whether you told me uh, yesterday or you didn't. But it would be nice if you 
if you told me again. The music's very loud today. I don't I'm not sure whether you can even hear me. Okay. So yeah, quite a few people working on this game. It was a very short game. I really thought it would be longer. Okay, that's good. So, um... We're definitely gonna play Whistleblower. So, we might as well just do it right after this one ends, because... I'm not satisfied with uh, this ending, as I already said. That really sucks. He's been through so much, he fought through, and then in the end they just kill him off. That's not nice. I don't like it. <sighs> One minute, please. Okay, I'll give you a minute, no problem. Let me just... Do this real quick. Then we go back... Back into this. There we go. Gonna end the recording. Then we're gonna change. Let me just change this. No, it's not ending. No worries. I'm just uh, changing the this, this stream title and stopping the recording because then I have separate recordings for all the different games. Oh. Just gonna take a moment to look something up we can't just stream for 30 minutes that would be weak and we're not weak over here and I'm not satisfied with streaming for 30 minutes <laughs> because it, I think it takes 30 minutes to get like in the groove and we can't just end the groove when we're just starting to get it oh where's my library let me have a quick look. Um, Okay, I think this... There we go. Let's change that up. Whether that actually worked. And then we can start with the new game. That ending was... No worries, I, I have time. There we go. I'm just gonna wait till you're back. 
You know, I'm gonna have a quick sip of water because hydration is key. You just let me know when you're back. By the way, for everybody else watching, if you enjoy the games and you have something else you want to see me play, in my info panels there's a little section with game suggestions and I usually put some games in there and if you want to see me play them, you can just vote them up or add in your own game suggestions. So if you want to do that, feel free to do that. I'm really looking forward to, uh, to see all your games. Oh, no smacking. No smacking. Smacking the, the cup on the table. Not good. Whoops, there we go. Let's just turn down the volume of the game sound a little bit because I felt like it was a little bit loud. There we go. Okay, then you're not- what I think is kind of annoying about this game is that you can't turn up the voices of the people. These are all the chapters. Let's see. Okay, you're back, which is good. I'm just having a quick look. What kind of annoys me about this game is that you can't turn up the volume from the, when the people are speaking because uh, usually the people speak very silently when it's very loud in the background and then you can never understand what they're saying without putting subtitles on. So... Oh... <laughs> I think we're gonna play on normal again because the other one was also on normal and... I am not very good with horror games so we're gonna play on normal. Let the story continue. Or is this even a continuation? Or is it like... The story before Outlast. We'll find out, probably. What's going on? Oh, hi. Um. Am, I, am I a patient now? You don't have to wake up, but open your eyes. What's the matter? Somebody hit you? Here. Let me help. You no, no. Mm -mm. Uh, you 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 getting these alerts? Kind of busy here. It sounds like real trouble. Uh, at the engine, they said hope made a lateral ascension. Maybe hope. They're not happy about it? No. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Come on. So, is that Billy? The wall rider? So, this is before. Why would you lick my face, you disgusting person? Don't just go up to people and lick their faces. Oh, that's why it's called Whistleblower. He's the, he's the person who wrote Miles the email. He also had that, has that cool coffee mug. Oh, dude. Something tells me this is not going to end up well for you. needs to be exposed can I just not send the email you know the, the whole first part wouldn't even have happened then okay send it oh shit send it I'm just working in the server room you know hi they've paged for you three times already there's something urgent at the engine what are you doing in here anyway I thought you were just a software player. 
Okay. The doctor was predicting an assembly by 150. We're not being given enough information to trust Renegade's predictions. You've been right so far. I just want to know we're inventing something other than shiny new cancer. <laughs> okay. Can I go anywhere else? I have no idea what they're talking about. Why weren't you answering the page? I'll tell them you're incoming. Yeah, what if I don't want to go because I feel like this is gonna be bad? Hello. He he's uh, writing very fancy. More precisely, okay. Christ, Wayland, hurry up! They're waiting on you. Why do you have so such massive doors? Hello, it's me, the software guy. Hello. I'm here. It's okay. Just no more spoilers, please. Oh, I feel like they're gonna put Billy in there. Park. Finally. Where have you been? Functional imaging and faces and talking to the ASL. We got a patient 30 seconds out and we're blind inside his head. I can call into the chamber, ask them to delay. No. I don't need another performance evaluation. Mr. Park here is gonna have us up and running before we even know it. Right, Mr. Park? Always. Oh, I don't like what they're doing to people Park putting County, them. Mr. Park? Yes. Uh, Steve? FMRI is still dark. You're doubting our friend, Mr. Wayland Park? Which I consider more than unkind to his programming skill and considerable dedication to the Murkoff Corporation. Fuck me, they're bringing him in. Well, that is Billy. Oh, This is a high security. It's all right, Agent. Mr. Park was just surprised. I'm sure he's still calm and eager to finish his work. Get your seat. Yeah, that man is Billy. Quickly, Mr. Poor Park. Billy. Then we'll need to roll up the fusion monitoring and not actively put him in the engine. Five seconds. Four. Three. Our serial spin labeling is back online. Good. Positioning everything. Oh, what's happening You're to finished, me? Mr. Wayland Park. You can leave. Don't expect anything but honesty in my review of your performance. Poor Billy. You're done here. You need to exit the room. No worries. I don't want to stay here. What you're doing is bad. This is very bad. Nobody deserves that. Smack that. Oh, he's actually not smacking the doors. I'm very surprised. If I go back into the server room, something, something very bad is going to happen. I can feel it. I can sense it. Hello. Somebody's been telling stories outside of class. Oh, the 
Oh, that's not Wayland Park. Consulting contract 8208. Software engineer with a level three security clearance. Graduated cum laude from Berkeley, but still somehow not smart enough to realize that the last thing a fly ought to do in a spider's web is wiggle. Somehow dumb enough to think that a borrowed laptop, onion router, and firewall patch would be enough to fool the world's leading supplier of biometric security. Stupid, Mr. Park. More than stupid. In fact, that was crazy. I'm afraid we're going to have to have you committed. Mr. Park, will you willingly submit to forced confinement? Did you hear that, Agent? He said yes, Mr. Blair. Great. Oh, and uh, did I just hear Mr. Wayland Park volunteer for the Morphogenic Engine Program? Well, that's what I heard, Mr. Blair. That was brave indeed, Waylon. The Murkoff Corporation and the Onward March of Science both appreciate your bravery and sacrifice. Maybe you could administer Mr. Park here a light anesthetic. Gladly. Oh, gone. He also risked everything he had. Great, I can't move. Oh my eyes. What's this? We're free? Can I leave now? Come on, get up. You can do it. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Oh. Hi, Billy. Take the camera, come on. Oh, it's the, it's the same camera Miles uses. Oh, this looks very bad. Um, is he coming for me now? I would like to leave, please. I don't want to stay in here. Yeah. Okay, that's actually very interesting. Can I leave now? Oh, thank you. Hi. Are you nice or are you not nice? Oh, I know you. Don't I know you? Aren't you the... Aren't you the priest's little... Uh, how do I put it nicely? Bitch. I think I want to leave now. Thank you. And the guy, you know, the guy with the... Uh... Oh, Christ. Oh. Okay. Uh, whatever it is you say. I just don't want to be killed. Yes, he did. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Would you mind letting me through? What? Hi. Come to join our therapy session. Here, take the blade. Keep it around in our friend here. Get a little red on your hands. It's always healthy to express yourself. You keep it bottled up too long, and you might do something you regret. No. You want to lose? Too good for the likes of us? Think you're different? Something special? There are no other right miles here. No. Get the fuck out of here before okay. I change my mind. Can I leave, please? Would you mind? I'm afraid he changes his mind and I really don't want to be- Okay, this way. Thank you very much. You're so nice. And there's me screwing up the doors again. This is a good start to the new game. 
I'm just gonna close this, you know, give you guys some privacy. Whoa! You know, just just a way. No! Hello! Close the door. Oh. Okay, vents. Vents, 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 vents. Would you mind? Come on, come on, come on. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, we have actually two notes. I'm gonna read the first one first. If I die, I fucked up. Oh god, where am I? Hours could have passed. Oh, sorry. Or weeks. Brain filled with static. They made me watch the the engine. I have to get help. I have to call for help. Lisa, I'm sorry. Also, Lisa is his girlfriend, a wife or something. If I die, I know you'll be you'll find me. I know you won't rest until you find my body. I hope you find this camera with my corpse. I hope the evidence on it does what I couldn't, expose the truth. Lisa, baby, I'm so sorry. Fucked up. I thought I was doing the right thing, but I fucked up bad. A radio in the prison. There's a radio in the prison. Shortwave. It's electronic. I can make it talk, make it work for me. There's hope, Lisa. I'm coming home to you. My mistake was subtly, like you always said. I thought leaking information to a few journalists was the safe way. I didn't want the spotlight, the attention. Murkoff is dangerous, I know that. I thought I had to be subtle for you's sake, Lisa, for the boys. Also, he also has children, probably. But I should have exposed what Murkoff is doing to the world. I should have shouted to anyone and everyone. I can't die, not before I reach the radio. They can't cover this up now. It's too broken, too dangerous. Security guards in this uh, prison they call it are not very nice not gonna lie oh yes saving so I can suffer even more oh I can hear footsteps which is bad oh hi you you just want to leave with me right Um. Do, do, do. Hello, can I go through here? No, someone else is coming through there. Oops. Hi. Please, I'm a doctor. I need to get hold of my. You're not security. I was. I'm a patient <laughs> like you. Stole these clothes from a dead body, I said. Oh, battery. You gotta get me out of here. Please, just push the button. Open the door. Get out of here together. Go. No. 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 Oh Christ. The doctors are sick. I never seen a man die before today. Never seen a dead body outside of a coffin. Dozens today, murdered and worse. I looked into a one man's eyes as another tore him to pieces. Claimed he was a doctor, then saw the rags they've dressed me in and changed his story, said he was a patient. Could have been either. They're all crazy, all sick. No difference between them now. The therapy is spreading. And what am I? I watched this man die and only thought, it's not me, thank God. I know I'll die someday. I don't want to be murdered. Yeah, being murdered is not nice.
But yeah, thank God it wasn't me. Living on for another day. Oh, hi, my friend. You're not my friend. And I mean, if you insist, we could be friends. Uh, whoops, it baby. Uh, would you mind leaving me alone? I didn't do anything. Hello. Dude, don't be so angry. Hello. Did I run with that? No! He's one of them. Lock it down. Now. Oh, you stupid asshole. Why would you do this? Why would you do this? I've not done anything bad to you. Ooh, battery. Can we just take that radio? Apparently not. Yes, documents. More reading. Let's see. From... J. Blair at Merkov Corporation to H. Grant, Merkov Corporation. Subject, Resi Resignation for Mental Health. Oh, I just got a message. I gotta check that real quick. Whatever that was, we don't care at the moment. Okay. Miss Grant, you may receive re requests for information from a Mrs. Lisa Parker. Well, that's our girlfriend, a wife. Of Leeds will... CEO. I'm not from America, so I don't know which state that is. In the coming weeks concerning the resig resignation and hospitalization of her husband, Waylon. So it is our wife. If so, please forward them to my personal attention. Waylon Parker, former consulting contract 8208, resigned due to previously undiagnosed mental illness. I personally visited Mrs. Lisa Parker and her sons and broke the news to them, with the silver lining that Merkov Psychiatric would be graciously providing treatment. Miss Parker had some less than charitable things to say about myself and the Merkov Corporation. I assured her that w with her power of attorney, she could try to fight the doctor's diagnosis of her husband's illness. However, if it were discovered that he resigned under false pr pretenses, his insurance would be cancelled. And the family would be settled with not insignificant healthcare debts. Oh, well, that's very unfair of them. Like, that's very, very not nice. Hopefully she understood. But if she insists on making a nuns, n nuisance of herself or tries to get around me, please let me know. This is one I want to take care of personally. Yours, Jeremy Blake, player. Oh, this Blair guy, he's the one with, like, the white eye? Um, he was, like, one of the very high people in this place. While we're here, are there more batteries for me to sneak? Because I really like batteries. Batteries, batteries, batteries. And I'm gonna have a quick check. Okay. Where do we go from here? At least the wall ride is not chasing us anymore, which is good. And I can go through here. The exit's blocked. I really don't want to keep walking over corpses. Okay, where do we go? I can't go through here, and I can't go, go through there, can I? Nope. <laughs> what the hell is going on? Hello, I would, li I would like to go through here, please. Okay, so we're probably doing some climbing action. This this looks like climbing somewhere. Can I climb here? Nope. Can I climb here? Yes. Oh. 
Not so much swearing. We're not supposed to be swearing this much. Oh, it's bleeping. Stop bleeping. Whoop. Hello. Oh, am I going to, going to be chased again? It's a lot with all those people. Oh, zoom out. I am... Um, can I go through here somewhere? Patient X, okay. Anything interesting in here? Yes, a door. And we're standing in darkness. There's a locker to hide in, which is always a bad sign. Yas, more batteries. Why are we getting so many batteries? Did someone file a complaint for not having enough batteries in the main game? And then they were like, yeah, we're just gonna give you price as many batteries now. Ew. How did they turn this place upside down like so fast? Oh, someone's munching away. Obviously, it's locked. Who are you? Okay, I have a, s a slight feeling that this game is gonna be scarier than the other one. Whee! What the hell are you doing? You. No. Mm -mm. I wanna leave, please. He's gonna make me a s make me be his snack. I don't want to be his snack. Oh, why would you make me do this? I think he's gone. I think he's gone. He better be gone. He better be gone. He better be gone. Why do their rooms have such weird layouts? Oh, we. Okay, keys, keys, keys. Okay. No, I don't want to feed you. I'm sorry. I am not into that kind of stuff. Please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Oh god, is this a dead end? Open the door. Open the door. And open the door, please. And then close it, close it, close it, close it, so he can, like, screw himself. Jump, jump, jump. There's the wall. There's the wall. Just jump through there. Oh, hi. You're not gonna eat me, are you? Yes, I am. Oh. What's the 
This is our friend from the prison block. Not scared. You can come with me. Yes, I am your friend. I definitely am your friend. Oh, look at him banging food. Oh, no. Tell me. You can help me, come on. I'm not scared. Uh, at least not of you. I'm scared of whoever else is walking around here. That's who I'm afraid of. Oh, Murkov. No, friend, where are you? Come back. Where, where are you? More files, yes. More files. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Gender selection in Mount Massive Construct Contractors. Okay. Author Ethan... Whatever his name is. No, this is a request for specific legal consultation in the ongoing lawsuit by Melissa Cho against Markov Charitable Psychiatric Incorporated, originally filed in 2010. At the time of Ms. Cho's termination, the psychosomatic effects of the morphogenic engine on female employees and patients had been well established. Already more than seven female employees and patients had reached fictitious half-term pregnancies in a matter of weeks before miscarrying the non-existent children, five of them fatally. This is getting even worse. Female employees were moved to higher floors in the facility, then to other buildings and eventually entirely off the Mount Massive facility. The critical secrecy of Project Wall Rider necessitates secrecy in the motiv motivating factor for the reassignment and terminations resulting in received injustice for several terminated parties. Ms. Cho has succeeded in acquiring a court order, FOIA release, the documents surrounding her termination. Those documents will need to be generated and post-dated, providing information while skirting the relevant secrecies of the project. Please advise. Okay. Oh, this is getting worse every minute. It's not very nice. Oh, we're running out of battery again. By the way, where's Mr... Mr. Chainsaw Man? Oh, there he is! No, 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 no! You can't have me, I'm not a snack. Screw you. Screw you. Chainsaw man. You're not gonna snack me today.
Well, at least I hope not. That chainsaw man. I'm just gonna hide in here for a moment to see whether he is, in uh, fact, the chainsaw man or if he isn't. Uh, I don't want to deal with the chainsaw man. He's even worse than Walker from the other game. No. This beans. We better reload. <laughs> no, no, please don't cut me up. No, 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 please. Oh, don't cook me. No. Stay there and cook. Oh, this is even worse. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, he's gonna break his arm. never asked me whether I wanted to be yours so batteries yes I love batteries I'm not ready to be cooked oh I walk through the gas okay note to self don't walk through walk through the gas Quick moment. Ah, uh, let me just. I just uh, saw my lighting over there. Kazi, if you're listening, I'm definitely seeing what you're doing. I'm just gonna turn down the light a little bit. I mean, we're not gonna change the fact that my hair is gonna be super bright. Hello, Kazi. Is it is this better? I'm still saving up. I'm hope to invest in a light that's like from the front, so it's gonna be a little bit more even. But uh, we're not gonna get around the fact that my hair is very light, so it's a little bit better. I hope it is. I turned, uh, I dimmed the light a little bit. Wait. Let me just figure out which ones which one gives the best result. Is this better? So this is the light above my head being off. I can just turn off all the light. Now it's gonna be very dark. This is a dark party. I'm wearing a dark shirt on a dark stool with with a dark microphone. <laughs> so I'm really hoping I can, uh, with the next paycheck, I'm probably gonna buy a lamp that's like in front of me, so that the light lighting is gonna be a little bit better. So yeah, we actually progressed from Outlast to the DLC, which is Outlast Whistleblower. I don't know if you have a 
ever heard of it. But... Yeah. We've uh, done some progress. Not just hiding from everyone. <laughs> okay. D -d 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 Father Clark. Far be it from me to lie to a man of God. Let me at least say that I will do my personal best to improve the safety of your working conditions. Okay. I and the rest of the staff truly appreciate everything you do for our patients. And if you feel threatened by anybody in particular, particular blah, 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 simply let us know and we can either increase chemical restraints or administer a lobotomy or simply calming procedure. Sim similar calming procedure. Oh, isn't the lobo lobotomy like where you take those long needles and put them like like next to people's eyes into their brain? Oh, that's very disgusting. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Kazi. Uh, by the way, if uh, lobotomy is very ugh, no thank you. Um, if we're up for Stardew Valley next week, let me know. I can definitely put it in. Into my timetable. So yeah, whatever it is you have to do, probably studying or something. Good luck with that. And we'll see each other. So where was I? Yeah. Ugh. I don't want to know. No, thank you. Mm -mm. Don't underestimate the contribution your sermons offer our patients, especially considering the depth and necessary chaotic nature of hypnotherapy. Our patients need the bedrock of God and family. Not all of our poor unfortunates have family to call upon, and so the burden and calling is yours. We are all of us relying on your faith and hard work. It's okay. No need to be sorry. Okay, let's get away from here. Exit! This is where I want to go. And it's locked. Why? Why would you lie to me? Why would you do this to me? <laughs> Why did he put another one in there? Okay. Uh, no thank you. Whatever it is you're offering, I am not interested. <laughs> Mm, yes. Climbing action. Whoop whoop. Isn't this just what we love? Where am I supposed to be going? Oh, over there. Oh, it's the wall rider. Hello! Wall rider passing through, don't mind me. No, no, no. Oh god, don't fall. Okay, I don't know how you're doing this, but thank you very much. You have quite the leg strength. Oh, there's Mr. Dude coming after us again. There's a battery. Can I get this? Open the door. I want the battery. <laughs> oh, I want the battery. Come on. No, oh, he's not interacting with the freaking door. By the way, I don't even have any shoes, so I don't want to know how many splinters I already have. Always go towards the light. Oh, I know what that sound is, and I don't like it, so let's leave. Oh, well, that's where we came from. <gasps> Battery! Where is it? Where is it? There it is. It's mine now. Stealing all your batteries. Stealing all your batteries and your hearts. Ah, <laughs> oh, very scared. Very scared boy. Where's Mr. Sawman? 
be out there just playing games with us because I'm not up for any games. What? There's a vent I can't climb into? What is this? Well, I'm just gonna smack that door close and hope you're on that side of the door and not on this one. I told you it would be open. I Keep moving, open. Graham. We're almost out. Okay, wherever you're, wherever you're going, can I come? You have like... Ooh, no, it's Chainsaw Man. Open the door, close the door, close it. Thank you very much. Can I go through here instead? Nope, it's locked. Obviously, it's locked. Okay, where do I need? No, it's not this one. Oh, Christ almighty. You didn't see me, right? <sighs> okay. Why would Chainsaw Man be just chilling in that room? That doesn't make any sense. <sighs> well, we have to go past him. There's, there's no other way. Well, let me just... One moment. I'm just gonna light in some light from the side. So it's not gonna be as dark. There we go. I mean, the lighting still sucks. It still sucks. But whatever. Get a recharge. Lord of Death and Destruction. Better freaking leave me alone. I don't want to be your friend. Okay, where the hell are we now? Don't go into the gas. The gas is very ouch. Gas is not good. stuck in the airlock am i missing important stuff again hello he's a lot more aggressive with those people. oh hi that one's blinking okay he didn't hide which means our friend's gonna be here That's where he's bashing his head against. Oh. 
Lots of darkness. Lots of darkness. Lots of darkness. One moment, please. I'm sorry. Oh no, did I kill the game? I better not have killed the game. Oh no. Oh Christ. I think it's dead. Yeah, I screwed it up. I screwed it up. Great. I'm sorry, I screwed it up. We screwed up the game. So I'm just... And that. And then we're gonna restart. I'm very sorry, I didn't mean to screw the game up. <laughs> uh, come on. Can you do it, please? it working oh god no no this is very disgusting i don't like it come on game come on you can do this yes you can okay can i just press continue and we will continue with whistleblower yes okay also this is where i was supposed to stay and watch the person die Okay. By the way, this is the problem when you live with in one house with other people. You can never freaking wait. Like, whatever it is they are doing, it's always more important than what you're doing, and that's kind of annoying. And now let's meet with our mate. Hello. No worries. I'm just gonna close this door if you prefer to bang your head against this one. So, E237. By the way, if you just joined in, in to the fun, um, we just finished Outlast, the first game, and now we're playing the DLC, Whistleblower, because I wasn't satisfied with the ending. And we're being chased by a guy with a Meat saw. Feed me. Feed me. On that one. He's not very nice. Which you can hear by him saying he wants to be fed. In fact, I chose the wrong room. Hello. Oh, I can also not hide in this one. Hello. Can you? Can I just go? Can I? No. Leave. Leave me be. I'm not meat. Don't objectify me. I'm just gonna close you in this room. Oh no, I won't. <sighs> oh no, he's slicing me up. Great. I'm gonna be a delicious feast. Yeah, oh, stop going in the wrong rooms. This one's good. I mean, he definitely saw that. He didn't see me. That, oh, no. No! I missed something. Wait. Better not screw the game over again. But can I just... Yes, I can. There we go. Just need to click one button. Okay. I'm sorry. This is not going good today, but if you're enjoying anyways, please let me know in the chat because uh, I'm a little bit annoyed when something doesn't go to plan. That really annoys me. And the light lighting annoys me and my camera annoys me and my skill annoys me. But 
We're not complaining too much. There he comes. Oh no. Can I squish through here? No, I can. Oh hi. Can I go in here? Thank you. I'm gonna just gonna shut this door. And why is it Oh yes! There it is the vent, there's the vent, there's the vent. Go in the vent, go in the vent. You're gonna be snack. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. We're good, we're good, we made it. Okay, awesome. Very nice. Oh no. I'm not here. Has he given up? Sometimes they just bang the doors for whatever reason and then they just leave again. Which doesn't really make sense to me. But okay, whatever sails your boat. Isn't that how, what do you say? I'm pretty sure it's not what you say, but... I'm just gonna close this. Smack myself through here and hope we're good. And Meat Man has left us. Meat Man's not gonna leave us. He's not gonna leave us alone for a very long time, I'm thinking. This one's locked. This one's barricaded. Oh god, what was that shadow? Whatever it was, you stay where you are, I stay where I am, and we will never encounter each other again. Mm, yes, documents, documents, documents. We're gonna read them, hiding in this very clean, very nice locker. Project War Rider, patient status report for Frank Manera. Oh, this is very bright. Okay, diagnostics. Morphogenic engine is not working. At the time of this interview, Frank was down to 155 pounds from his admission weight of 228. He was largely non-responsive, exhibiting interest only in the hypnotherapy group pattern 9 Wernicke. Considering drinking blood from his chest of s what? Considering drinking blood from the chest of sleeping men. He continues to refuse baths or the attention of a barber outside of general anesthesia, stating if I cannot partake, I cannot share. Recommended forced nutrition for Mr. Manera if we cannot find something he likes to eat. Okay, he, so he's basically starving himself to death. Is that just the, the lighting going off? Pray it is. Go away. If you can turn off the gas, that would be very nice. Very much appreciated. I won't bother you if you just turn off the freaking gas because I can't go through there. Will you talk to me by any chance? I worked here just like you. Gas room. Oh, the gas room. Not a room I ever want to see from the inside. It's saving. Why would you save? Oh, because of chainsaw, man. Obviously. Why am I even asking at this point? Why, why, why? Chainsaw man. Just leave me the frick alone. I don't want to be your friend and I don't want to be your meat. You can eat the other guy. You know, in the other room. He's gonna be one hell of a snack, believe me. You look very healthy and stuff like that. You probably appreciate a very nice, healthy meal. 
Oh no, there you are. Hello. Well, that's not my freaking problem if you can smell me. Because I'm hiding from you. Oh. There he comes. You gonna open the door? Yes, he is. He gonna come to eat me? Wait, you're not Chainsaw Guy. Who the heck are you? Who are you? Yes, you are Chainsaw Guy. Oh, don't look in this place, please. Yeah, you know, just leave. There's a delicious guy in the other room. You can snack on him. Why? <sighs> I just don't get it. <laughs> Why would you do this to me? 